Are you a part of the religious church or heaven's ecclesia on earth? In this lesson, we will discuss the great separation that is happening right now. If you want to be a part of heaven's ecclesia on earth, then this lesson is for you. Welcome to Heaven Culture. It's so good to have you here, where our objective is to transform believers into kingdom citizens that represent heaven while living right here on earth. All right, let's get into this. We are living in the time of the great separation. On the one side, we have the religious church and all those who have so totally bought into that system that they cannot bear to leave it. But on the other side, we have those who are embracing the kingdom of God and heaven's ecclesia on earth. For some, this might seem like we're just splitting hairs. But if you've been following this channel, you know that the religious institution called church and the ecclesia are two totally different things with completely different starting points, thought processes, and final outcomes. Now, if you're following these teachings, I will assume that you are a student of the kingdom and are embracing this present day revelation that Jesus, the King of glory, is releasing to his body. With that said, you must understand that we are living in the time of the great separation. For years, we have all been lumped into one group. But in these last days, we are entering the day of the saints. The day of the saints. So what is the day of the saints? Ephesians 4, 11 through 14. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. If you've been in the body of Christ for any length of time, you realize that God has systematically restored all of these developmental gifts, beginning with shepherds and teachers. Then, evangelists, then prophets, and lastly, apostles. And we have mistakenly thought that the end game was the restoration of the apostolic. But this is certainly not true. Yes, God has restored all five of these dimensions of Christ's anointing into the body of Christ. But it was not for the purpose of ending up with apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers? No, absolutely not. His end goal is not to have a glorious group of five-fold ministry gifts, but rather to have a glorious ecclesia. In fact, the purpose of the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher is for one reason, to perfect or equip the saints. You see, the five-fold ministry gifts are only the trainers or coaches that are assigned to help you reach your full potential in God. So while most people, including spiritual leaders, have mistakenly thought that it was all about them, in actuality, it was never about them. In actuality, from God's perspective, it has, it has always been about you. 
the saints, the people without the titles in front of their name. So now that God has restored all five dimensions of the trainers and coaches, the real game is about to begin. I'm telling you, th this is the most exciting time to be alive. You see, the body of Christ has been crawling and limping up until now because we have thought that it was all about the spiritual leader. We thought that the anointing was only for the spiritual leaders. But as God is releasing revelation concerning heaven's ecclesia on earth, we understand that he has always wanted to empower his body. Now, we are coming to understand that the anointing for the classroom, that is, the anointing of the fivefold ministry gifts, the trainers and coaches will pale in comparison next to the anointing that God will release for the battlefield, that is, for the saints. That means you. Think about it. Is a greater anointing needed for the classroom or for the battlefield? Well, of course, the battlefield. So as the saints begin exiting out of religion and begin fully embracing the kingdom and the ecclesia, we will see a shift in the level of both the anointing and the glory of the Lord. What will the day of the saints look like? During the day, the time, or the season of the saints, everyday believers will be equipped to do the work of the ministry. <laughs> and you thought the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher did the work of the ministry. No, no, no. They are not capable of doing the work of the ministry because it is too broad and all-encompassing. The work of the ministry will involve every mountain and sphere of influence in society and the culture. So there is no way that the spiritual leaders could do it. And therein has been the problem. Under the church model, that is how things were set up to be. But under the kingdom model of the ecclesia, you are equipped and empowered to do everything that the kingdom needs within the sphere of your area of influence. Heaven has positioned you, each one of you, in different areas of the marketplace and throughout society and culture. And God's next move after you are equipped is to put a powerful anointing on your life, allowing you to usher heaven into the marketplace, the job, the community, and everywhere that you go. You will be heaven's mobile hotspot where a portal of heaven will be opened wherever you go, thus allowing miracles, signs, wonders to flow through you just like they flowed through Jesus. Get ready because we are not so far away from this day. This train is in motion right now, so you will need to get a move on if you don't want to be left behind. Just as the, as the children of Israel broke camp whenever the pillar of cloud by day or the pillar of fire by night moved, I'm here to tell you that the cloud is moving and the ecclesia of the living God is marching towards the promised land. If you recall the history of Israel, when they came to Canaan, they had to fight and conquer their enemies in order to inherit their promised land. The same thing will be true for us. We will have to fight the enemies of the kingdom of heaven, but our fight is not against flesh and blood, nor is it, is it a natural fight. Our fight is against principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. But as we engage in prayer and in the culture, we will lead more and more people to Jesus and thereby impact the culture by bringing heaven to earth. 
Are you ready to be used by God in unprecedented ways? Are you ready to see miracles, signs, and wonders? No more church as usual. No more powerless and lifeless services that do nothing to advance the kingdom of heaven. No, a thousand times no. During the day of the saints, we will operate in the kingdom authority as heaven's ecclesia on earth. We will usher in the move of God, the power of God, and the presence and glory of God. We will see healings and manifestations of the Spirit in unprecedented ways. We will see the glory of God fall on us. We will see the full power, might, and weight of the kingdom of heaven supporting its ecclesia on earth. The Great Separation. But as we approach the Day of the Saints, there will continue to be a great separation. It's actually already happening. During this time where many religious institutions called churches were shut down and not operating as normal, God was shaking the body of Christ. He is waking us up out of our sleep, bringing us to our senses and driving us to our knees with unprecedented wickedness and corruption that is everywhere and running rampant in our nation. And so, because the religious institution called church cannot possibly handle this, in fact, Religion does nothing to impact and transform the culture. Therefore, the solution that our nation and indeed the earth needs is the ecclesia. So as believers awaken to this concept, embracing the kingdom and the ecclesia, there will be a great exodus out of religion. The revelation of the ecclesia is actually the precursor and sign of this. As believers are receiving the revelation of the ecclesia and exiting out of religion and dead churches, they will pour into the kingdom and embrace the ecclesia. This will mark the great separation or the great divide as those who embrace the kingdom and all that King Jesus is doing in the earth will gather to him while those who are loyal to the religious traditions of men, denominationalism, and any such thing will remain where they are. But make no mistake about it, a great separation is coming and has already begun as we move closer to the day of the saints. Well, that's gonna do it for me today. If you have been blessed by this, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please visit our website at heavenculture.co and join our Heaven Culture community by completing the form and giving us your name and email address. This will allow us to keep you posted about everything that we're doing. Once again, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to continuing this journey with you. Mm -hmm.